In this video, I want to go over the ROT13 problem on Code Wars. And what it states is ROT13 is a simple letter substitution cipher that replaces a letter with the letter 13 letters after it in the alphabet. ROT13 is an example of the Caesar cipher. So it's wanting us to create a function that takes in a string and returns the string ciphered with ROT13. If there are numbers or special characters included in the string, they should be returned as they are. Only letters from the Latin English alphabet should be shifted like in the original ROT13 implementation. So they give us some examples down here. Um, test uh, with the Caesar cipher uh, ROT13 uh, encrypted version of it would be GRFG and test. Uh, they seem It's the same thing, but they seem to want uh, all capitalization to remain as is. Now, this problem wants us to take each individual letter in the string, so each, each individual letter, um, and move it by 13 positions in the alphabet. So A will become 0 or A will become O by moving it 13 positions. If we reach the end of the alphabet before moving 13 positions, we're going to have to loop back around to the beginning of the alphabet. So the way we're going to solve this actually is with Unicode values. Unicode is an international encoding standard by which each letter, digit, or symbol is assigned a unique numeric value. Now, if I were to pull up idle right now, I uh, printed out all of the Unicode values for all capital letters and all uh, lowercase letters. So the Unicode value for 97 is A, and the Unicode value for Z is 122. As you can see, they are contiguously stored, meaning that 98, 99, 100, 97 through 122 contains every letter in the alphabet, at least for lowercase. And likewise for the uppercase letters, uh, 65 through 90 is the uppercase alphabet. Now this is very important because this will make it very easy to solve this problem. What we can do for each letter in our string is we can take that letter, find its Unicode value, add 13 to it, and then convert it back into its uh, Unicode value. So let's go down here to our test condition or whatever. So see T. Uh, let's add 13 to it. So T, lowercase t, we'll find it is 116. Um, plus 13 would be 129, but the end of the alphabet is 122, so we have to loop back around. So it should be 97 plus 7, and that should be G. Yeah, 103. So that's the way we're going to do it. I'm going to minus this, and let's get into solving this problem. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create an empty list, and this is the list that we're going to return at the end of the problem. This is going to have the encrypted version of our string. And then we need to iterate throughout our uh, string, so we're going to say for letter and message. What we're going to do is we're going to append. Um, what we're going to append is new letter. And we're going to pass it our letter. So this new letter function right here is a helper function we need to create. So I'm going to go down here, and we're just going to define new letter. We are not going to create it now, but we are going to in a minute. This is our helper function. This is going to encrypt each individual letter in our string. So it's also going to take in the input value of letter. From here. Uh, once we've iterated throughout every letter in our message, message and encrypted it using our new letter function that we're going to create, we're done. We just have to return uh, the list. But instead of returning it as a list, we're going to convert our list into a string. And there's a simple function to help us do that. It's the join function. So dot, 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 join um, LST. OK. so. We're done with the, the basic function, and that's actually the easiest one. What we're going to do for our helper function, this function is going to take each individual letter, convert the letter into its Unicode uh, numeric value, add 13 to it, and then convert it back. However, there are, uh, there are numbers in it, there are special characters in it, there are uppercase letters which don't fall in line with the... Uh, 97 through 122 Unicode. So there's some there's some special test conditions that we have to take care of. First, we're going to check to see if it is a digit. And if it is a digit, 
uh, one through nine or zero through nine, we're not going to mess with that. We're just going to return it back to here and append it to our LST list. So we're going to say if string of letter dot is digit, we're just going to return the letter. So this is digit function right here. What it does is it checks to see if the string in question is actually a digit or a, a numeric value. And if it is, it returns true. And if it returns true, we're just going to return the letter. Okay, so we're done with that. Next, we're going to take care of all uppercase letters. So we're going to say if the um, ORD of letter, so ORD of letter, the ORD function is the reverse of the CHR function I showed you in idle. CHR takes an individual number and converts it into its Unicode uh, value, the letter, the letter, the digit, or the symbol. ORD does the opposite. Say we say ORD of A, it will return its, uh, it will return 97. It returns the integer that corresponds to that uh, particular digit that we sent it. So we're going to say if um, ORD of letter is between 65 and 90, and we can just say 65 less than or equal to, and then we can say equal to 90. So if it's between 65 and 90, all we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable called new letter, and we are going to set it equal to ORD of letter, because we've got to convert that letter into its uh, Unicode value, and then we're just going to add 13 to it. So now we have the encrypted uh, integer value of our new letter. All we have to do from here is um, convert it back into its um, character. So we're just going to say return chr new letter so return chr new letter however we only want to do this if the integer value or its unicode value is less than or equal to 90 because if it's greater than 90 it's reached the end of the the capital alphabet so we have to loop back around to the beginning so what we're going to say is if new letter is uh, less than or equal to 90 and if it's not less than or equal to 90 so if it's greater than 90 what we're going to have to do is loop back around to the beginning of the alphabet and we can do this by saying uh, chr using the chr function and saying 64 because that's one um, unicode value less than the capital a so 64 plus new letter modulus 90 Okay, and we've done that. And then we have to do the same thing for the lowercase letter. So we'll copy this. And we can just say else if. Else if um, 97. So if ORD letter is between 97 and 122. So else if ORD. We'll just say 97 less than or equal to ORD letter. Less than 122 or equal to 122. We're, I'm going to copy this. There'll be some slight differences, but we can change those. So we'll just paste it in here. Yeah, we're so this is going to be this. We're going to do the same thing. New letter. We're going to add 13 to uh, its Unicode value, and then we're going to only return it if it's less than or equal to 122. Because it's greater than or equal to 122, greater than, not greater than or equal to, that would have been an issue. So, no, greater than or equal to for sure. Yeah, okay. So, what we need to do 122, um, and if it's greater than uh, 122, what we need to do is change this to 96, because that's one um, digit below. The Unicode value for A and modulus 122. Okay. And then else, so if it's not a digit, it's not a lowercase or an uppercase letter, um, what it is is it's a special character. And if it's a special character, um, 
it says special character should be included in the string unchanged. So if it's a special character, we're just going to return the letter. Okay, so this should work. Um, let's test it out. Test. It passed the two. Let's attempt it. Okay, 214 passed, zero failed. Yeah, so that is a quick and uh, easy tutorial on how to do the ROT13 problem on Code Wars. If you found this helpful or you learned anything, I would appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.